Today, we will be showing you how to properly install a FlexNet DC from Outback Power. This will be a two-part series. In this video, we will be explaining programming. There are six different settings we must enter in the mate to properly synchronize the FlexNet DC. It is essential to validate these settings from your battery manufacturer. For this tutorial, we will be using Outback's integrated battery rack with 12 12 volt 200 energy cell RE batteries. We will be looking at six steps. Total amp hours, enabling shunts, return amps, charge voltage, parameters met time, and charge factor. Entering the total amp hour capacity in a 20 hour discharge rate. Per Outback spec sheet, each battery consists of 178 amp hours. In our example, we have a total of 12 batteries, which four of them are wired in series to create 48 volts. Then we parallel three strings. Electrically, amp hours are only added when you make a parallel connection. Therefore, 178 amp hours times three strings equals 534 total amp hours. Since the FNDC only takes multiples of 10, we will round it off to 530 amp hours. On the Mate 3, press the lock button. Enter your user password of 141. Select settings, battery monitor, then battery setup. Enter the total amp hours per our example, 530 amp hours. Step two, enabling the shunts being in use. The FNDC has the ability to monitor up to three shunts. If you do not know which shunts are being used, you can go on the Mate 3 shunt meter screen. Press the battery icon, soft key, press next and shunts. In here, you will be able to see the real time power flow from each shunt. To enable the shunts, go to lock, Settings, Battery Monitor, and Shunt Enable. Step 3. Entering Return Amps. This value is derived from percentage of total amp hour capacity in your battery bank. You can obtain this percentage from your battery manufacturer. To establish a start, we are going to use 2%. In our example, we have a total of 530 amp hours. So now we take 2% of that. 530 times 0 0.02 equals 10.6 amps. Now we can enter the value on our Mate 3. Go to Lock, Settings, Battery Monitor, then Battery Setup, and enter your amp hours. Step four, enter the charged voltage. This value is based on the absorption voltage, which could be found in the battery spec sheet. In a 12 or 24 volt system, you enter 0.2 volts below the absorption voltage. In a 48 volt system, you enter 0.4 volts below the absorption voltage. Per Outback's Energy Cell RE spec sheet, the absorption voltage is 14.4 volts per battery. But since we have four of them in series to create 48 volts, we will use the 0.4 volt factor. Therefore, we will enter 57.2 volts. Step five, charge met time. This is a user adjustable setting, but usually one minute is optimal. Step six, charging factor must be validated. This value is to compensate for the losses in the recharge of the batteries. For example, using a BCF of 94% of the FNDC will only count 94 amp hours out of 100 amp hours. You are now done programming your FlexNet DC. Finally, you must synchronize the state of charge to your batteries. It is essential to go through a few charge cycles and have your battery bank fully charged to ensure this is done correctly. To calibrate, we simply disconnect the FNDC from the hub and replug it back in. Anytime you unplug the FNDC, it resets to 100% state of charge.